Hey guys, Vest, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, as I can tell by the title, I finally got me a camera, y'all. I'm out of breath. I literally ran downstairs as soon as the doorbell rang. And I finally got my camera. So today we're going to do a little quick unboxing video. So this is what the box looks like when you first get it. It was like in a way bigger box, but I don't feel like going through all that right now. But this is what the box looks like. So when you first get it, it comes in a black box like that, and it just says PowerShot G7X Mark II. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box. Oh, this is how it opens. So it opens in the front. Pull this down. So this is what it looks like when you open it. It has a book with it. And on the box, it says that it has um, it has Wi-Fi, and it tells the lenses and the pixels and stuff. I don't really know much about that, so I'm not even going to get into those. So this is what it looks like. So I'm guessing this part is the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So this is how the camera looks. This is how it looks. Let me see. And this is how it's gonna be for when I record. I wanna be able to look at myself. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. How do I turn it on? I don't even know how to turn it on. Hold on. Does it have the battery in it? Oh, it doesn't have a battery in it. I'm over here trying to turn it on. So this is how the camera looks. And after you take the camera out, it has this, which is the piece that you connect to the wall for you to charge it. Just a regular Canon charger piece. And then it has, oh, it has like this little string thing that you use to hold your camera. And then it has the actual battery part. So now that I got the actual battery part, I'm going to try to see how it looks when I turn it on. Yo, I'm shaking. I'm literally so hype right now. Okay. Wait, how do I turn this on? Okay. So now that I got the um thing on, this is, ah, it turned on. Okay, so this is how it looks when you turn it on. This is exactly how it looks. So I'm going to just mess around with it a little bit and just see what it does. Let me see. So the quality is bomb. Like, the quality is fire. So this is so that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna try to take some pictures today and I'm gonna show y'all how it turned out. But that's basically all that it comes with. And I already have a memory card because it says it requires a memory card. I already have one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my memory card on. But um, to tell y'all a little bit about this camera, I got this camera off the actual Canon website. And I got it for, it was supposed to be $5.99, but I don't know if they had a sale going on. But it ended up being $4.99. I think they took like $100 off of it. But Yes, after I ordered it, it took a while to get there. It said three to seven business days, but the fact that the coronavirus is going on, it took me a while to get it. It took about like, I'm probably say it took like seven, exactly seven days to get it. So I just want to say if you do want to order this camera and you're in a rush to get it, just be mindful that with all of this going on, you might not get the camera when you're supposed to. But this is pretty much it. I'm actually satisfied with how the camera looks. I'm satisfied with how it came. So I'm going to just do a little bit of pictures and I'll be right back and I'll show you how the pictures look and I'll do a review for it. So I literally fell asleep and I ended up not taking pictures to see how the camera worked. But I have taken a couple videos on it and 
I want to give this camera a good old 10 out of 10 because this camera is bomb. And I'm going to show you guys how I set it up and how it looks when I'm recording and pretty much give y'all an insight on how to work the camera and some Q&As that y'all might have about the camera. So this is how it looks right now. I have fully charged the battery. It took me a while to charge the battery. I charged it overnight and I thought it was charging, but it wasn't. So this is how the camera looks. I, um... I tried it a little bit and it worked. So. so this is my setup right here. This is just the ring light. And right here, if y'all could see, it's this little thing where you put the camera on top of. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the setup. And I just discovered that this is touch screen. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse the photos. I was just over here trying to figure out how to work this camera. But um, I just figured out that this part right here is touch screen, which is pretty dope. I didn't know that. So what I'm going to do is tilt the camera up and I'm just going to go ahead and do this so this is how it looks when you finally set it up i'm gonna zoom in and let y'all kind of see this is how it looks it's it's pretty much on auto so it auto focuses itself but you just press the button until it turns green and then when it turns green you take a picture because that's when the picture is completely in focus so now that i've gotten the camera set up now that I've gotten the camera set up, I'm just going to show y'all a couple things with it on how to work it and adjusting my light and everything. So I'm just going to put my light about like medium. This is the brightest it goes and this is the dimmest it goes and this is about medium. So when you're on the camera, it has um, recording and a whole bunch of other stuff that i haven't really explored but i'm gonna show how y'all how to work it so this is just the on and off button right there again that's self-explanatory and this is the button that you focus your camera on and this is the taking the picture button so i could just press and hold it and let it focus itself and then take a picture so this is how you do that and this is the picture that i took i'll show y'all later but then you could turn the camera around and these buttons right here it has the playback button and just playback everything that you had again you can swipe it with your fingers which is what i just now discovered um and this button right here i've been looking for how to record this whole time but it's this little red button right here is what you use to record so it's pretty much it the camera is pretty small and it's pretty compact and i feel like you could take it wherever you want to take it and i've seen people connect their microphone to it i haven't really gotten in depth into that and um putting my microphone into it and everything so once i do that i'll let y'all know how to kind of go about that but that's pretty much it i give this camera a 10 out of 10 the resolution and the quality is bomb the quality is fire it captures everything you wanted to capture and it's pretty much easy to work it's not those cameras that you have to like do every single iso now you can do that if you are a professional but i feel like this camera kind of does it for you so i'm not really having to do much work and after a while the camera ends up turning off by itself so if you forget it on it's not going to be much of an issue but that's pretty much it thank y'all for watching my unboxing video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button don't forget to follow me on instagram at bestie naela snapchat bestie innocent and twitter at bestie naela